that we've done in all these right. years, and yeah. it's just getting ready to go turn around. All right, so it looks like we're back. We're back on the air. So yeah. I got Brandon Gomez from uh, Swamp Donkeys, and I've got Travis here from Boulder Lamp Incorporated. One in studio, one not in studio, but we're going to crank up his light again so you guys can see it on the startups. Yeah, this uh, is our new uh, slimline light. It's for veg. This it's is a slimline. Two and a half inches high, so you could grow. We, we designed it so you could grow on shelves. Um, you know, it's a space saver. So we added more LEDs, blue. Okay, so there's another LED assisted slimline, two and a half inch sort of profile. Stackable 315. Stackable 315. They're going to get pissed if you don't get on the mic over here. Stackable. Right. <laughs> They're going to get pissed, bro. They're going to get so mad. They're going to revolt. They're going to revolt if this you don't get on the better. mic. This is better. Computer fucked sorry, up sorry. and everyone's pissed at me. So. Okay, so Brandon, we're just doing a little crossover here because we're finishing his thing. But any, feel free to jump in at any given moment because I, I will get on your story in a, two seconds. Uh, right. And uh, so tell us quickly just about the... Other benefits, obviously it's slim, and the heat so, sink's yeah, been moved over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so this is, this is a veg light. We, we're we're going to be uh, using, we could use this for, for veg or flower, uh, depending on what kind of LED you wanted to put in it. Um, we could also put two different types of LEDs in. We could put the orange, red, and the blue and make it switchable, so you could use it for veg or flower. Uh, it was created, it's only two and a half inches uh, in height. It was created for... Uh, growing on shelves and, and, and you know, space saving. So uh, we've been noticing that's been going on and, and grows just with, you know, having so much square footage and, and limited square footage. And, you know, that's pretty much why we've, uh, we've come up with this one. Right. And, I mean, I'm not, like I said, I was, for me, for veg, I can see stacking shit. It's just in flower. I always feel like you should kind of, like, have everything be level level playing field for everybody and just use the room to its max, and you'll get better results. It just kind of feels like that's more natural, natural help, you know. And also for workflow, because when you start stacking shit, it's like one of them does, it gets neglected. You know? <laughs> it's like the yeah. upper deck, oh, yeah, you know. Or, or, you know, you just, also safety fucking matters, you know. It's like you just don't want guys... Half the time, you can barely walk on one floor. Imagine two floors. You know what I mean? Like now you're talking right. double, double the accidents in your spot. Um, I think it's going to take a minute for the so 15 to pop up. But you, know, so you guys while that, can actually see the blue. So blue. while that's all happening, mm -hmm. is the 315 even on? No, no. That actually, as I unplugged it, it's uh -huh. gonna, probably going to take about five minutes. Oh, to, my to, God. That happened. Five yeah. minutes. Restart time. Yeah. Restart. Um, so, our, uh, so just quickly, why don't you tell us websites? Okay. And, yeah. then, and then I'm going to jump onto Brandon. And then uh, we're going to see the light fucking kick on, and then it's going to be like, oh. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, boulderlamp.com. Um, you can reach me at uh, Instagram at tra uh, BLI, Trav underscore Travis. And uh, my cell is 858-373-8352. I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have about this technology. And, uh, you know, I, I, I consult also with the 315. So, you know, any, you, any, and then you're based in Cali and I'm based I'm based in San Diego, California, okay. uh, but I'm all over the place. I'm you know I'm in New York a lot, uh, Boulder for for work and uh, does the, based do, in you, California. do these guys have a like a sort of main distributor in California or you guys do it straight out of Cal or straight out of Colorado? Straight out of Colorado. Straight we don't Colorado. we don't really have any too many, too many distributors <laughs> at this point, but uh, there's a whole bunch of different grow stores that are that are you know, carrying them okay. in the California area cool. all over the place. Um, so, but obviously, you know, if you're coming from the Adam Dunn show, you're gonna go direct to the source. Yeah, you're gonna go direct go, to the source. I, you know, I listened to Travis on the Adam Dunn show. He <laughs> said, "I heard of some crazy numbers," and they're gonna go like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> you what did yeah, he so, say? Like Was I he said, drunk? And be like, "No, he didn't even." Drink. And if you heard me on this show, you know, I, I do the lights for four fifty, the regulars, and I would do these for uh, the six six ninety nine. Uh, these slim lines are not, aren't gonna be out until end of next month. And uh, we're also putting out a, um, a greenhouse fixture, which is going to be this this hood right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a, it's a smaller hood. just takes up less um, footprint and a, and a greenhouse atmosphere. But also spreads the light out a little bit more. And usually in a greenhouse, uh, people are buying these lights just for 
uh, waking their plants up and putting them to bed just for supplemental. So and so, can you run them? So are they on two two different timers? Can you run them two different times? Like can I run just the blue when I wanted to, or does that have to be not not yet? What? Uh, not with this. Not with our, not, I'm not that with, customer. Not, not with this prototype. I'm that customer. Uh, that guy. That I figured. Comes in. I figured you'd be that customer. I'm that guy that walks in and asks for that. Why you motherfucker? Why'd you ask the one thing we haven't? Oh, we didn't. Do That's that. going to be in the round round. But it would be two. actually good just because maybe you don't want it on sometimes, and True. sometimes you know you just feel like. And if you're going right. to do the switchable deal, right. you kind of have to think that way, I guess. Right, oh, right. So there you go. Did I blow your thing? You're not supposed to no, be no. switchable? No. <laughs> no, that's coming. That's coming. It's, uh, you know, this is kind of like a co- our first concept light. Uh, we've been, you know, showing at trade shows and, you know, pe- getting a lot of good feedback. Uh, you know, people are interested in it. You know, I mean, and obviously every single person wants a free light. Like we already said. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let, me, oh, yeah. Test, let so, me test these hey, out. Hey, listen, everybody, you know, everybody, everybody look under your bed. <laughs> it's a free light for everybody. I broke in last night. I put a light into your bed. It's there. You just, I did. Yeah, sorry. It's I like definitely. I flew over to UK. Got Spring Hill taken care of. He's got a light. Everyone gets lights. Lights for everyone. No, it's, no. You heard the price. I mean, it, it's sort of like my clothing. Same deal. Like I don't give away. I mean, I do give away jackets once in a while to the right people, but I don't give away T-shirts. I don't give because it's just like it's sorry. I mean, it's like nah, those are twenty-two bucks each. I can't. That's wholesale. You know what I mean? I right. Can't, so it's hard when you have uh, quality products to give anything away. But I'm sure if they, I'm sure if you went out and bought one or two right now, use the Adam Dutch Show discount, you'd be taken care of. And then I'm sure if you turned around and said, "Fuck it, I want a hundred of these," then you get the super duper. Yeah, then extra we can start special. talking volume oh, discounts. Yeah. Oh, you know, that's a, that's always a reach arounds. Everything. Yeah. The, whole nine hey, yards. Hey, the other company here. told me they give me reach arounds, so I'm pretty much going with them. Sorry, oh, man. But that's that's. What I'm, no, I'm just we'll kidding. let we'll, we'll let the CEO do that. Um, all right. Well, thanks for coming into the studio. You can hang out as much as you want. Don't all right, matter, don't matter. And we're gonna wait for the light to turn on anyway. Are we gonna? Oh, uh, you know, we don't have to. I all mean, right, it might whatever. take a little bit longer. I know you got you don't got too much time. I'm I do. Don't up. have hours. I have hours. Actually, this is gonna. I, while, while I was doing this, I was like, oh yeah, I promised a three hour show, not a two hour show. Because here I, it comes right now. Actually, you see, just, you just oh set, my you just god, the light is there coming. There it comes. So Brandon, we got t- like I said, I'm gonna do a three hour show. So we got time. We're no, there's no as long as you got time. You have time to hang on the phone with me, or you're. Uh, I I can I can chill for a little bit. I gotta okay. All right, I'm just I gotta hit the road here in a bit. But yeah, we'll All right. hang out. I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give, I'll be I'll be your neighbor. <laughs> okay, good. So um, <laughs> give me a little background on on uh, Swamp Donkeys and the and because you guys are the new, pretty new on the on his roster, right? Yeah, we're uh, we're getting ready to do our, our first release with uh, seats here now and nice. uh, gonna drop on Valentine's Day. We've got some. Uh, some new strains coming out. The the feature drop is the blood diamond because diamonds are forever, but blood diamonds are the shit. Yeah, and does it have the <laughs> does it have the same blood uh, diamond? Does it bleed? Does it bleed? No, it it, do, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the bleeding factor. It's got the blood orange though in it. Okay, it's blood so it's... orange. It's blood orange by Cherry Mountain, mm. Frosty Nut. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's a stinky, nasty. Frosty dance, just just turned out awesome, and in, in all aspects, of, uh, the the whole uh, the whole batch did. What's the uh, male? Uh, what's the male in the cross on that one? The male's a, the Cherry Mountain male from uh, Bodhi Seeds. That's the Cherry Pie by Appalachia. Uh huh. Oh, that sounds nice. Super, that sounds nice. Yeah, really. it's funny too because I uh, yeah I've been telling people that I've I've actually uh, oh dude why'd you turn the light off bro. Uh, but uh, I've been telling people like you know that's kind of where it's not that I I think Bodie has like I, mean, I just feel like Bodie has the best energy in his stuff because of him personally like that guy is such a cool guy and <laughs> like when he's he's so happy and relaxed and when you talk to him and you know I grew out a bunch of stuff and I saved every good mail not every mail but every decent mail out of there because I was like mm, this could be good this could be good um, but I got this Jasmine cat piss mail that's just fucking fire and you know, this is like wow like it was. So far, so good. I'm not, but I'm not. You know, it's one of those deals where I, I've, I got a bunch of testers out there, and I'm just waiting to hear, hear the back, and I'm doing my own run right now. But Bodie's definitely got the, the, because of the land races that he's got. I, I feel like there's just there's something special on the males that come out of his stuff compared to a lot of the other poly hybrids out there. Definitely a broader range of, of original genetics. You know, just getting it back and peeling back a couple of layers on the poly hybrid scene right. on a lot of them, and, and that's really nice. Where, where, to, um, so how how big is your crew? Like, give give us kind of an idea of what your 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 are you a one man well, show or are you a, 
I, I know a lot of guys. We're, we're uh, cats. Um, we're just kind of, you know, building, working towards finding some good strains for PTSD. Uh-huh. That's one of our main things we're looking for. Um, we've, we've both been growing for years and years. I used to live in Colorado for a little bit. Ran a dispensary out in Lakewood. Uh, let's see, what was it? Docs MMC or whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, like whatever it was, yeah. Whatever that was. Well, it, 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 was, it was here and then it was gone. I mean, mm-hmm. with a lot of those medical dispensaries in the early, you know, 2000 yeah. or 2010, you know what I mean? That yeah. time they were just here and then gone and flashing the pan because the upper management wasn't together right. kind of a deal. But, uh, it happens. It but happens. The, other, the other half of the crew, he's, uh, he's an Army vet. And uh, we both got PTSD. We deal with it on the day to day. It sucks. So that's what's driven me and him to work together and try to find something better to help alleviate the pain that people deal with in their day to day lives, you know. And and uh, I'm glad to see Colorado's just starting out to do like some legitimate yeah, clinical. They, f- they finally PTSD. understood. Yeah, well, they all, they finally yeah. understood that they they didn't even have PTSD on the fucking list of things and i was like really no. like that is the most obvious no. one that's like the more obvious than all the other ones and one except for maybe glaucoma right. and a few other things but it's like pretty much that is the that'd be the the go-to thing you'd, you'd imagine and then um so so where are you based now oh uh, well i uh i mean not exactly you don't, you don't have to give me your like coordinates yeah, or anything I, be like, you know, like three, I don't know coordinates. <laughs> oh, my lady bug rock you know, like, <laughs> no, are you uh, yeah. are you, you moved west coast or? Uh, no, we're, I, we're both up in Alaska. Oh right, Alaska. Alaska. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're just James, spread out James just James just throws things out. at me. I don't know half the shit that he's been going on. It's like what? Here you go. These guys. It's like hey, surprise, man. So yeah, uh, um, nice. So how long you been there personally? Uh, I've lived here my whole life, wow. other than you know a little bit of time that I spent in Colorado and okay on the East Coast. Yeah. Uh, while I was in the service, but. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so, Alaska, have you ever, you ever been up here? I was there for the last show with with James. I, I, did you come to that one, the the, the Canacon? No, I didn't. I didn't do the Canacon. No, I was there. That was my first time there. That was my first time there, and it was definitely like, okay, that's because you know how it is when you go somewhere different or new, or and you're just like you have this image in your mind, and everybody has an image of their mind of Alaska. I mean, it's like there's nobody like you say Alaska. You're like, okay. That, you know, it's just like you're kind of like, and then, and then you get, and then you're like, okay, it's kind of weird because it's kind of like you can tell, it would, like it wouldn't take much for, for like, because you know, you know how close you are to Russia in a sense, and like you know that the reality is like it's so weird because it feels like they're pushing the American agenda on the on the land there. You know what I mean? Like the land felt like it wasn't accepting of our malls and our shit. You know what I mean? Because I was in Anchorage, and so I was like. Oh yeah, this is crap. This like feels like I'm in the Midwest or something. You know, it was weird. Like you'd be in the Midwest in one minute, and then all of a sudden I felt like I was in Vegas on the backside of the fucking airport. You know, I was like, the fuck? Because it's just they probably brought contractors from the same places and built all these places at whatever given time. But then you found a few little nooks that were like old, and you're like, okay, this is, I don't know, it's a strange place. I, I definitely feel like it's a uh, such a big place too that you can't really say Alaska. You have to say where like, where you are first, and then explain that you know what i mean because anchorage definitely is not a, a representation of the entire state that's for sure no it's just it's just this, it's got the city scene but most of alaska has got that rural kind of hey how's it going here neighbor kind of thing you know <laughs> right uh, uh, but we're all stoners it's it's got some of the highest per capita uh pot use of course everybody would argue that as their own home uh, rhode island like right, that. But right now rhode island's claiming it right now and they actually, right. oh, yeah, Rhode Island. yeah, Rhode Island is claiming most, but I mean, they, ha- they it's easy. They just go like, all right, there's nine of us in the room. We all smoke. That's it. We win. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's not a big yeah. save. Anyway, I decided. But um, bum. Well, we've been we've, we've been on the forefront of legalization forever. Uh, back in the back in the '70s, and yeah. then it, it and and it, geez, we went all the way up until like. The early nineties, I oh. think. I dreamed and of then, it. I, I dreamed remember. of. I dreamed of Alaska when I was a kid because I remember reading one time in High Times or something like what. And I saw like a, it was like a. It was I don't know if it was a liquor store or something. Some sign outside that says like we got the best buds. You know what I mean? And it wasn't like it was more like a. 
it wasn't like they were selling it there, but they were just saying, fuck it, we don't give a fuck. You know, nobody cared at that time. And they were just right. like, ooh, it's getting late. And I, but then it kind of backlashed, right? What was that, 90s, you said? Yeah, 90s. I, totally. And, okay, so in the beginning of the 90s, obviously the, in 90, it just kind of like went reverse. Is there is there a reason why? Uh, well, what, what they were doing was Reagan, were, maybe, or something? Over our head. <laughs> yeah, it was like a Reagan era thing where they were holding over our heads about the... Uh, about if we didn't change our legalization, they were going to take the federal funding for the roads away. And since we've only got like 700,000 people. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, why did you guys just all get airplanes and say, fuck you? You know, like, like we're going to buy well, planes. Well, <laughs> airplanes are expensive, you know. No, I, I, know. You I, know. I want one, but I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> they don't need roads. We don't need no stinking roads up there. Come on. Is the moose, Moose's Tooth right. still uh, still open up there, that pizza, pizza the, place? The, Oh yeah, dude, the moose is too. Moose is too. Where they, they yeah, man. So I, much pizza. Yeah, I remember being up there in 2000 and uh, going to the moose's tooth, and we drove an RV from uh, Anchorage all the way down to Phoenix one year, and for Cruise America, we just found out people could people were driving up these RVs and leaving them there. But um, I remember when I was there in 2000, there was a big initiative to make weed legal in 2000. Right. Um, yep. I know, definitely Alaska. I mean, that's the thing is a. Uh, you know they were had the they had the perfect place to test it out anyway because it was like a lower population. Um, you know they really can't enforce shit anyway. It's like right. you know, it's like a fucking drive twenty miles, you know, or twenty just to like keep driving and driving to this one guy or fly to a guy to arrest him. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of the way a lot of those spaces are. But if you uh, you know test it out there, it sh- the problem is that Alaska was full of a lot of people who didn't want to like fill out reports or something you know what i mean right. they'd be like right. this is going great let's this is how we're gonna do it it's more like you know they just did it because they could fucking get away with it at a certain point and then it wasn't like a medical issue until uh california pretty much right i mean that's yeah well california was the first in 96 five, or 90, 90, 90, 90, 95 96, 96 yeah. yeah it was like a 95, 96, 95 90, yeah 96 yeah. is when it actually happened but 95 is when they were like Probably pushing it yeah, yeah. Um, and then alaska was the second with uh in 1999 Okay. With, yeah, I yeah. remember that because I was there in 2000. And okay, was, so that's exactly when you that's, were there. That's that makes exactly sense. when I was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I remember yeah. getting the Matt Nuska Alaskan Thunderfuck when I was there, and it was hands down still like top five strains of my life. I mean, it was phenomenal. You know, and that's one of those strains yeah. where it's like uh, that's what all, obviously when I as a breeder when I got to Alaska, it's pretty much my first question. But I felt like a noob asking people to be like, "Where is it? Yeah, okay, get the ETF. <laughs> like, ah, oh, what? <laughs> But what did it's, you, did it's you, definitely, did, definitely a quest. Yeah, it's definitely did, a quest. Just trying to find it. There's, there's a lot of different stories that too that many revolve around the, the MTF and with the ATF. Or you know, a lot of people say once it, once it left the state, it, it became Alaskan Thunderfuck instead of Matanuska Thunderfuck. But right. uh, you know, it, it, it became a rarity in that same time that Prohibition era. Um, uh, a few years after that, they there was a large fire, they, where they came out and they. They set a few grow rooms on fire in this large area, like Big Lake area, mm. and then uh, Meadow Lakes, and caught hundreds of houses on fire and burned through tons and tons of acreage and all these remote grows, and mm. they were trying to stomp out the MTS. That's what they really? were doing. And so it, it went into remission, and of course, you know, that that 90s era, you know, uh, you, you don't know. You don't tell anybody I smoke. Kind of right. mentality just took over, and everybody went in, and you know, Bless it. went into remission. And, and the strain sharing died, and and uh, you know, it was rumored that one guy had it for a while. There's actually a strain that we hold in the, the swamp here uh, in Alaska with let's see what is it? what's called dump truck, and the the rumor is it was renamed uh-huh. in order to help protect it. You know, but it's it's a twenty plus year old strain, and it's uh, still rocking. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of those like legends that got really quickly muddled or fast. You know what I mean? It's same similar to the train wreck right. story, where it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, E thirty two train wreck should be the you know the arcade E thirty two from row thirty two, blah blah blah. We all kind of like know that part of the story. Then there's like, oh no, it's the train. There was a train wreck, and there was a. There was the cops came and, and they found this thing and I was like, well, no, wait a minute. Then later, another guy is like, actually, there was never a train in that area. So what the fuck's somebody talking about? You know what I mean? It's like there's no train. Like, oh yeah, just imaginary train that kind of went through Humboldt. You know what I mean? But, but then, uh, <laughs> but uh, with the, with that one, I think that 
I mean, you guys were probably, I mean, like you just said, it, some of it was to protect maybe. Uh, you know, it got too famous too fast because, I mean, obviously if the whole world fucking heard of it and but none of us got to smoke it, then locally that must drive them nuts. You know what I mean? Because then it, there's a market for it, of course. Then, of course, it's like, oh, shit, yeah, I move that shit all day long. Do you think the, I mean, I'm sure Alaska produced enough cannabis over the years back in the day that nobody even thought about them really and just dropped that stuff south you know? yeah i mean well it's, it's hard it's hard to get it here mm-hmm. i mean you know some people might laugh at that but it's it, the, the border the border ways are, are pretty strict it's a ridiculously long drive you know <laughs> taking a boat is you know you'd have to fill it if you wanted to make it worth your while and uh, and you know so we we just kind of grow our own and it, it winds up working out that way um but and people have been doing it for well i don't know my whole life my dad Got busted with 14 pounds when I was a kid back in '91. Right. <laughs> so you know it's it's just a way of life up here. Sure, and I you're think. and you're growing organically. I, I kind of hope. I, I you know I, I I do a bunch of different ways. I've got organics. I've got a cocoa regimen that I'm doing. Okay. I've got some rock wool. It all depends on what factor. And I'm trying to do things as far as speeding up testing. Yeah. As one of the, I mean, wouldn't it be? Uh, I would think. I would think Rockwell would be kind of expensive for you there, though, wouldn't it? Or they must tax it. Oh, er- everything. Everything's expensive. I mean, they tax the shit out of it. Yeah. Exactly. Like when I was there, I was like, "Damn, that's expensive." It was like, "Oh yeah, I forgot I'm up here again." You know, it's like just little things that they got you by the balls. And so I, it's like, "Hey, you want some milk? Oh, seven dollars." <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. What's gas prices up there? Gas prices. I think it's two eighty. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, I figure it, no, it, you'd it, hope it, that it would be cheap, yeah. considering it's all getting going right past you guys no, to get true. to where it needs to go. Yeah, it's like, it's like, hey, we make it, but we got to rebuy it back. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah that's thanks, thanks for, you know, I, I feel like this should just since they make it here, you know, this should just be like a tap, and we just kind of all go over to it. Well, they should have a free pump at sense. the factory that you can go to. You yeah, shouldn't free be free everywhere. Like, Not everywhere, but just at, at the actual factory. Long. If you feel like you want to drive all the way to the factory, you can get free gas. Why not? Fucking, you, know, just... you can get free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it should be... courtesy, courtesy to Alaskans. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks for letting us rape the shit out of your land. Right. Um, the least I could do. Gas. Yeah. I banged yeah. your mom. I banged your mom. Let me like buy you a Coke. Here you go. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Later, sport. Thanks, kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best deal I ever made. Best deal I ever made. That kid will be a millionaire one day. He'll remember me. What? He's, I bought him a Coke after I banged his mom. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I taught him? I taught him kick. That's what I taught him. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so um, you were saying you're like second generation, uh, or your third, second, or third generation grower. With, is your dad uh, second generation grower? There's, there's a few hip, super hip guys that are third generation. And you're like, whoa. You know that that was that would be cool. You know, <laughs> well, happen. you got kids. You got kids. I mean, there's hope. There's still no, hope. no, no, little no hope. Videos. No yeah, hope. I got, I got some dogs. <laughs> well, dogs can't grow that as far as I know. One. Not very good, at yeah. least. They can piss on plants. That's about as close as they can do to. Yeah, they do. They, they've got a and a chew respect. leaves. They can chew lower leaves. Some of them are good at that. I give yeah, I, I don't know. I just I totally keep them away from it because I feel like I, I don't. I, I hate. I had a friend of mine. Oh, exactly. I had a friend of mine. Really. I'd be like, I'd just be like, every time she give us a pound, like you know, she's like an older lady and she has those fucking Australian whatever dogs, you know, the two different color eyed <laughs> Australian run around dogs with lots of hair. Dogs. They, they, shepherd, and they have the fucking Australian shepherd. Yeah, and their fucking hair just goes ah, everywhere. And it would be like, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Like every single person I'd ever send to this trick, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd call me later. They'd be like, yeah, she's really cool. The weed was good. It's fucking hairs, you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, God, don't do it. You Which know, that, that stuff was totally acceptable. What, like, yeah. Yeah, no, years ago years it was. Years ago, it was right. just common, common, common play. Like, oh, yeah, getting, getting, uh, getting the hairy dog hair weed from Harry. Yeah, you know, Harry. You knew, you knew what you were getting. You just, you just have to call him though. You're like, oh god, I gotta call Harry. Yeah. <sighs> Harry, I got another hair in my shirt. Harry, Harry I need a bag, man. <laughs> you know, like, you know, you got, that, you got that blueberry dog hair, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> And that's the way it is too. It's like like now now everybody's super anal. They're like, dude, this did not pass the test, bro. You're like, do you know how much weed you smoked that was covered in mold back in the day? You didn't fucking give a fuck. You're right. Like, you're just oh. and they're like, was, was this tested? Doing bong hits what of is, it. What just, is this test out at? at C- yeah. CBA. Yeah. And you're just not like, CBD. That's CBA. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, you, oh. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I don't you're, know. You're like, okay, guy. All right, guy, you didn't even know. And then they're, they're the same guys that are like, we're pheno hunting five years ago. Pheno hunting, bro. You know, and you're like, oh, you learned a word. Okay, you got the word. Word of the right. you know, word of the year was, you know, boom. And, you know, now it's just every every six months is, well, actually every month, I should say. Word of the month it could be now because you got to stay up. You know, like FICO well, is big now. FICO is the whole thing now. If you don't know what you like. I'm like, what the fuck's FICO? And, Ter- 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 and I'm like, thing. FICO? And it's like, that's not a good name for oil. You know what I mean? Like, that's not... Too like, close to fecal. Yeah, it's totally yeah. fecal. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I can't say the word too. FICO in a fucking grow room or somewhere. I'm like, yeah, dude, can you give me some of that FICO? You're like, no, actually, I, I can't. No, that definitely can't get you that. But, no, you know, it's just like they're renaming and rebranding and... and different tech is getting a new name thrown on it every day so it's kind of like every day if you're not fucking on it bro you'll be on it bro it's like you, all you're doing is making <laughs> hash kind of man just you know don't church it up <laughs> no, but they, they gotta they gotta make them feel special because when somebody's devoting their entire life to something yeah. you know let them get a little name change you know as they find what is new tech or old rediscovered tech you know yeah it's just like have it, keep it, man. You earned it. Yeah, no, of course. And if that, if if they can pull it off and they can turn it into their little moniker and their whole thing that they uh, run with, then definitely more power to them. But as you just said, it's always old. It's always fucking always repeat, repeat. You know what I mean? It's like, like cannabis is interesting because it's it's going at a faster rate than than you'd even imagine. Like the repeat mode is almost comical you know what i mean it's like uh wait a minute where are we like i was the other day at a show i was at a trade show i don't know not the other day maybe a few months ago but it was uh in the corner when i walked in i didn't notice it and i'd walked all around the entire trade show came back standing at my friend's booth and i look over and i'm like is that one of those fucking stupid carousel round and round bullshit things again like it was like and it was huge though it was giant it was like a massive version of it like somebody took the the old failure idea and just recreated it and was like, yeah, that totally sucked and no one liked it. Let me do it bigger and make it really stupid. So it was like obnoxiously huge and underbuilt entirely. Like everything about it looked wrong. You're like, that's going to fall apart. It's like not not thought out. What is going on here? And it was just another guy who was like, wait a minute, mathematically, if you take a circle like that and then lay it out, you have more than you, you know, space than you would. And you're just like, yeah, but the fucking failure rate is just ridiculous. You know what I mean? And you're just like, this is terrible. So, yeah, what's your, have you, uh, like when you're breeding, are you doing, uh, we were talking about organic before, but you're saying kind of you're all over it. But as far as the breeding side, do you do like your seeds? You don't do your seeds on rock bull, I hope, because that's not a good idea. No, I don't. I don't. Okay. No, no rock bull. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. I'm just double checking. I'm like, wait, you're not doing that, all right? Um, yeah, yeah. So you're just talking like production or like oh I need to test yeah. a little run I'll do I, it I've been using I've been using the Kiss Organic bag soil right now uh-huh. simple easy just add water stuff right and uh, loving every minute of it and and with uh, the, uh, with are, the amendment packs so are you producing for dispensaries or are you just producing for seed production or what are you, what's your deal right now I'm just you know producing for seed production cool. is my main goal and nice you know some personal action. Actually, yeah, exactly. And so for seeds, are you doing like an open pollination, kind of doing in like a whole room and nailing it with like everything with one thing? Or are you kind of getting all super selective and hitting up branch by branch? Because I, I kind of feel like everybody has I – mean, it's, it's interesting to watch because everybody has their own idea. And uh, yeah, give me, tell me what yours is. <laughs> I, I, I uh, Well, I, I put some, uh, some different, you know, pre-selected cuttings in the room for whatever I'm, you know – trying to work on for lineage or want to find some new testers in and see what's good for the next round. And uh, I let him soak for a couple weeks, and I throw my mail in there, and he does his thing. I have dedicated breeding areas that uh, that's all that they're, they're there for, and I run anywhere from one to, oh, I don't know, eight lights. Yeah, yeah it seems about breeding. Good. Like I, I tell everybody, like ten lights is like max you want to do for any kind of breeding because it, it gets above that and it's messy. And, unless you're just and, and you're going to be overproducing, and exactly, and, and you're not going to be able to run through your stock in time. And you're like, so what is, what is the point of that? You know what I mean? Like you're just going to end up with a whole bunch of un- unproven shit, all half-assed kind of stuff in your shit. So. Exactly, and then you're just like, oh, like garbage. Well, it, but you know what? You know what makes real great cereal. 
topper. Oh, for sure, for sure. Do you toast it first, or you just go raw? You raw dog, raw dog. I, 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 like, the, I like the raw dog. <laughs> <laughs> raw dog. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. it, well, I used to always trip people out because I would like eat, do the same thing. I eat all the seeds in front of them, you know what I mean? And they'd be like <laughs> asking me how much they were, and I'd be like, "Oh, yeah, they're like you know eight bucks a seed." And they'd be like, "Oh my god!" It's like, and then I just start chowing everything. Like, "Oh my god!" Uh, uh, <laughs> you do like <laughs> just ate four hundred bucks. It's like that's how I roll, bro. Just fucking chowing. But uh, so so the breeding side. Uh, have you been doing that for the whole time or have you just kind of like dab- been dabbling or what's, what's, what's your... we've, we've been, we've been running hard in the breeding for about three years now uh-huh. trying to, to develop and test and find something that's actually worth it. And, uh, and going from there and then we've had some, some changes, you know, through time where we, we thought we had a good run with a certain strain and then we wound up <laughs> not testing and it was like, Oh no, so much time. Yeah. So much time. I mean, that's but, the key. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. As a, I notice when I when I see new companies coming in to the fold, and when I see a um, just different different uh, approaches from different breeders, what I've noticed is like tried and true is really like the guy who knows his shit through and through always does well and has no issues right. ever can stand in front of everybody and tell him because the thing is is like literally knowing your is like you know, I guess it's like anything, but like when you're breeding. It's pretty much in your head mostly than any – it's more in your head than anybody's because you don't – I mean, as much as I'd like to, I don't write shit down. Like, I fucking don't write anything down. Like, I'm like, Carolee, I'm the worst. You know what I mean? You're like the last guy you want to, like, get notes from or something. You're like, can you give me some notes, bro? I'm like, yeah, just walk around and listen to what I say and maybe follow what I do. And you might catch on to something, but I'm not going to, like, hand you a fucking playbook. Like, here, yeah, I would get up in the morning and do the search to the left, do that, push the button. You know, it's yeah. just because I've had to do it professionally, and then I charge a shitload of money for it, and then it sucks. It takes me days, and it's, like, nightmare, and it's not fun. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the part I hate. That's the reason why. So the, when I'm doing my consulting, and they're like, yeah, we need our SOPs on this my brain just melts, you know what I mean? Like, oh, <laughs> you really want me to, like, write out, like, how to fucking mix nutrients right now? Like, god damn, and this is, like, and, you know, this, this is, is like, the basics, bro. It's, like, you common need, you need, sense. You need basic class first. Yeah, you're, like, common sense shit, but it's, like, nope, we have to have it in because we have to show the fucking man, and we have to show this guy, we have to show that guy, and you're, like, all right. So, because they want it, but the part that pisses me off is I'm writing, I'm basically doing somebody else's, work for them because all this information that we're giving to them is definitely getting taken down somewhere and somebody's crunching this shit and there's some algorithm coming out and they're going to end up with like the perfect grow algorithm that they're going to sell the back to whoever you know what i mean it's going to be based on all of our inputs that we put out because they're like you got to write it down now write this down you did this and then you did that and then you did this and then you hand it to us and then we're going to look you know it's like I don't know. It pisses me off. That's why I think I've always been real anti-fucking establishment. So I've been like, you know, no way am I going to write down everything I do. You know what I mean? But well, uh, yeah, it goes back to the old paper trail. Thing. It's like, oh man, I can't. That's why a lot of people's tabs get forgotten because it's like, um, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know the thing yeah, is, nice like, to see you again, man. Like here you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then on top of that, like the. Uh, as far as like people labeling shit too, I mean, it's like the label names. Like in Amsterdam, it was I had a one guy. There was one guy who was notorious. This fucking kid Justin or whatever, and he was notorious for just mislabeling shit on purpose. Like he'd he'd go to Soma and get a tray of like Buddha's sister, and then somebody would call him up and say that they needed some MK Ultra from me, and he would go come to me, and I'd be like, No, I don't got it. And he'd be like, All right, cool. And then he just take that tray from Soma and tell the guy that it was MK. You know what I mean? And that guy would come back and go like, dude, does this look like MK? And I'd be like, no, that looks like something from Soma or something. You know what I mean? And it was just like this endless mislabeling and misnaming and stuff. And that's kind of where I feel like as a breeder, if, so did you guys have any, like for me, I felt like I was lucky because I was coming in around the late eighties and it sounds like you've been growing for a long time too. So your original stock that you had, did you collect it from stuff that you had as a kid or did you collect it? later on from stuff that you got from other people or what was your kind of like a, co- a, co- a, co- a combination of both of those we have the, uh we have a, some of the great old school genetics like the dump truck and we got an old old chocolope mm. um 
Rockies and, and a couple other ones that are up in the now see that, not my location. Now see that? So, my, my, so, so my for me, that would ring a bell. That would ring a like a, that would be a red flag right there where you can go like ding old chocolate. I'm like, wait a minute, can't be that old because DNA is definitely not. They've, they're ten years behind me. You know what I mean? And I'm like, right. So. So old, you're talking like 10 years ago old, or you're talking like... Yeah, like we're talking 10 years ago old. Their yeah, original but, their original round or something like that, maybe. Yeah, so for, for something like... It, it, it's, that's like the it's only not, strain... That was like the only strain my, that really... That was like the, my side of it, you know what right. I mean? I'm more running the, the testing, doing the genetic, or, you know, doing the male testing, and running mm-hmm. seeds, and, and uh, you know, breeding and stuff like that. The old stuff, that's... That's in the city area. I'm in the rural kind of right. <laughs> scene. Cool. Well, I mean, sure. the thing is, you know, like the because uh, I think every seed company that's that's kind of their 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 introduction to this thing mostly is their male selection. Like if you select a good male, and especially if you select a good male from something that's old school that you only have and you know or you have access to or you reverse that dump truck or something like that, you know, something that's that's unique as a male then you add to your to your mix you know so people have something different because that's kind of like what the biggest problem in Amsterdam was that a lot of companies were sharing their males you know what I mean they were like oh yeah this HP 13 Hayes male and I was like like five different companies used it you know DNA used it Soma used it Greenhouse used it um so Shanti Baba with Greenhouse it's it's pretty much like every company out there and then I'd uh Delta Nine and one other company, and then after that, who knows? Maybe like all the new other companies because it was a good male, produced great offspring, but it was all the fucking same. You know, it's like after a while, you're like, oh right. my god, everybody. The so genetic you, diversity is shrinking, man. We got to fix this. Exactly. Um, are you using like? Is that what you're using for your thing? Is it mostly like unique males that are kind of adding to the mix, or? It's 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 all over. It's all over the <laughs> place. Over I'm, I'm, con- I'm constantly trying to trying to figure stuff out and, and come up with something new. Like uh, the latest and greatest is um, I'm working on doing the research on a uh, Pakistan trip, northern India, Pakistan border kind of trip in search of some new land race genetics. Um, Going to see how that goes. Yeah, that sounds yeah, like I'll see of, how that goes kind of a story. <laughs> well, you know, see how that goes. Like, we're going to go to like fucking pretty much the most dangerous place in the world right now. And just exactly. But, you kind know, of looking around for some like, seeds. I feel, talk I feel to like there's a commitment. <laughs> I have a commitment to, to, you know, all these other dudes with PTSD, man. It's like, think about, there's like 25 veteran suicides a day, man. Yeah. There's 25 awful. people that are going over there, coming home after all that and blowing their brains out. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So it's like if it takes me to do a little bit of language learning and try to learn a little bit different cultural acceptance and go over there, what? it is what it is, man. You know, like if it takes me five trips, you know, it, it's it's just it's a committed to the cause kind of deal. It's What's I understand it's dangerous and stuff, but it's like it's you know if you don't if you don't try, how are you gonna how are you gonna do it? What's your uh, uh, sort of experience on PTSD and strain style? Like, is there any kind of like things leaning towards anything that you can kind of recognize at this point? You know, I haven't been able to map it down yet. It seems like uh, like a good fifteen to one THC CBD ratio kind of is, is right around there. You have to have a good kick of CBD in there. I like to push my flowers a little bit later, and I, I, I've been trying it. You know, it's it seems like it's it's strain dependent, and uh, yeah. a lot of the push seems to help. Um, you know, there, there seems to be a, a, like a Southeast Asian influence that also seems to to chime in too, um, like but, a, like a La- Laotian or something like that, or Thai. Yeah, yeah. Which I, but, I feel uh, like I feel like the the magical places on this planet are like. Um, Kind of like in uh, India, pack well in more India like, um, uh, like Bhutan, you know that area, Bhutan. No, I haven't. Uh... You have Tibet, Bhutan kind of area, which is like I said, Bhutan. We talked about it in the last show is basically like a a, 
province, which is could, you got to have a special permission to go there. You can only go for a few hours. You can't stay around. It's super beautiful. It is like in Tibet, but like on steroids kind of thing where it's just super, you know, protected and it's a very small area. It's kind of like Liechtenstein of, of that area, you know? So it's all not so much for taxes, but more for religion and for just kind of, and, and also for the fact that they, you got to have special permission to come in and come out. And <clears throat> so a friend of mine grew some Bhutanese and he crossed it with some OG and it didn't have any OG characteristics whatsoever. You were like, couldn't tell it was an OG cross at all, but, and it had kind of a rough, raw taste and smell, but it was got you super ripped. Like you were like, fuck, oh, God, this is cool. I'm like totally uncomfortable right now. I'm like so uncomfortable. Oh, oh, I'm so uncomfortable. This is great. You know, it was like one of those kind of highs where you're like, this is so awesome. I feel so <laughs> weird, <and> discombobulated, <laughs> like, Ugh, ah. but it was cool. Ribbon in my brain. Yeah. And compared to like eh, real familiar OG kind of thing. No, it was not at all, but it was, but it was a 50% OG. You know? So I was like, really? Where the fuck did that go? Cause that just got eaten up by that boot. Whatever that local shit oh. was just ate it. Cause normally that's the thing is like a lot of, I don't think you want OG dominant stuff personally, just because it's it's not such a big deal anymore you know what i mean we're all over it like yeah yeah that's there you know it's, oh, yeah. it's good and familiar but it's great if you can somehow get get it in there and completely not recognize it and then you kind of got something maybe double special because you're hitting all the same receptors that the og might have hit which kind of makes everybody happy secretly without even knowing it just because they're used to it you know what i mean and then on top of that you got this unique Ooh, what's that weird kind of like had a weird like burnt kawasaki we used to call it kawasaki because like a burnt rubber smell like almost like someone did a yeah. just did a total fucking power thing in front of you like, <sighs> he sucked up a bunch of like rubber smoke or something like that that's <laughs> kind of, that's kind of where it was it was in that range somewhere something like that with a little eucaly- yeah. eucalyptus twist or something mm-hmm. i was just it was interesting it was like wow that's kind of nice and weird and bad at the same time i mean it's got to be bad to be good, right? That's kind of no. <laughs> the worst. It stinks. Yeah, the that, worst. That's what the, I want like that's the dirtiest, yeah. dirtiest. Well, except for when it gets to like locker room dirty. You know what uh, I mean? That's like that's not a good thing. You know, you're like, yeah, well, this is like the bottom. This is like the weird locker room smell. Right guard combined with sweat and funk. I had a, you're like, I had oh, a hash yeah. plant. We uh, we called dirty hippie because it actually smelled like onions i mean oh yeah like, i mean wow. that's how that's how i got the the sour diesel back in the day i traded this strain called the dirty hippie which was a hash plant uh-huh. <clears throat> the strain was done in 40 days right grew real small but i mean you crack into it and it smelled like a dirty armpit yeah where's that brandon yeah, wants it that yeah <laughs> brandon needs yeah. It. gotta have it bro <laughs> So, yeah, num, 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 num. What's the um, <laughs> so? What's your take on skunk right now? You got any good skunky things or old school skunks or things that are? That's that's literally like fucking holy grail right now. It's like the most simple thing in the world. Yeah, it's just like oh yeah, you yeah. Got, you got the most basic thing. You got any good skunks? I uh, I I did. <laughs> I did have a really nice one. Yeah, yeah. just a uh, interesting thing about when you have, when you have a when you have a crew of people helping you out. Sometimes things get overlooked. So. Uh. Like, my haze, man, <laughs> my haze man RKS and that I had is just found out like three days ago. It's gone. So oh. sad story. But yeah, I, I had skunk there. I liked it. It was fun. It was, it was great to have it. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not talking about having it. I'm talking about having it right now because I'm telling you, like, we're fucking looking for it. We're all, we're all like, it's literally <laughs> weird, like a scramble. It's like a worldwide scramble to get the real skunk back because. We all actually it was funny the other day. I left my fucking gallery and I was all, dudes. It wasn't that it was skunk. It wasn't skunk. It was just, but it was fireweed that was unique and different. And I hadn't smelled in a long time. It was just like that kind of gritty. Because that's the thing is like now, people have great you know great weed whatever, but it just doesn't. It's not dirty enough. Like we want the dirty, nasty, foulest shit <laughs> possible. And and unfortunately, it's like fuck. And it, the weirdest part is that literal skunk is like one of those uh it's everyone knows that if you ran over a skunk or your dog's been skunked you know what it smells mm-hmm. like and it seems to be kind of fading away in history like, yeah oh, where'd it's it like go? gone like i don't even i need it back. dogs aren't getting skunked in anymore it's just like what go out get skunk bro i need to smell it <laughs> no but i like i like I, I, I run over skunks on purpose not live ones but dead ones <laughs> and i see one oh yeah run over it and then nothing got nothing i'm like 
<laughs> the fuck is going on, yeah. bro? It's a glo- can't, it's, can't even get off. Anymore. Is it global <laughs> warming? Is it global warming, Brandon? Tell me. Come on, what's going on? It, it could be, you know, it, it could be the global warming. Right now, global warming doesn't seem too realistic for me. When oh, here like it does. Negative. It's seventy fucking five 82. degrees today. It was crazy. Yeah, it was like what? Eighty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy. Yeah. Eighty-two. Yeah. No, it was I, not. In my car, it said eighty-two. Well, in your car, it negative two here. Negative two? Ah, but you're in Alaska, negative dude. If it's not, it should be like a negative 20. Yeah, right. You're like negative 10 times your fucking, you should be negative 10 times right now, right? It's <laughs> right, February. Yeah. It should yeah, be at least like negative. Like negative 50 or like I don't even want Yeah, to so that's about. global warming. You're negative two. Global yeah. warming, obvious. Global <laughs> warming <laughs> confirmed on the Adam Dunn show. Yeah, today. confirmed. We confirmed it. Take that, Trump. It's 100%. Little. Yeah, because if Alaska is only negative two in February, that's bullshit. That's like... You guys are out in t-shirts, all love and life. Like, yeah, woo. Yeah, um, working so, on their tans, you know, just getting that freezer burn tan. Do you guys, kind of besides Seeds Here Now, you guys got, um, you guys are doing any kind of like shows, live stuff, or going anywhere, or doing anything, or you just kind of hold up and yeah, make seeds? Yeah, yeah, actually, we're, uh, we're planning on jumping on the high time circuit this summer. Really? Just Are you guys gonna do Vegas? Vegas? Like you doing Vegas next week? We're, no, next we're, we're skipping Vegas. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that it's not in yeah. Vegas, you know that, right? It's not. It's funny because it's like it's a classic high times. I'm gonna fucking bust Danny's balls on this one. Big guys, like, wait a minute. So you're saying Vegas Cup, but it's a 45 minute drive, and anything like five minutes away from the Strip is not Vegas right. anymore. I'm sorry, yeah. it's not even Vegas when you're in Vegas. It's like, <laughs> is it on the Strip? It's not, oh, oh, not Vegas. Sorry, that's like a, <laughs> a party sorry. in Nevada. I'm sorry, it's not a Vegas. Po- it's not a strip. Po- yep. So this one's 45 minutes to an. Uh, who knows? The memo two. bus time. Yeah. For, anyway, for okay. But so that's also, good. There's also talk about. There's also talk about the Nevada legislation restricting the entries for the cup. Really? Or something know. like that. Yeah, I don't oh, know. It's, you might have an inside around. scoop, dude. I might well, have I to heard, fucking figure that out. I heard it's just it has, uh, it has to be Nevada around. entries. Right? Okay, so it's Nevada-only yeah. entries. Yeah, but that's the way it should be. Anyway, I, I really disagree on the idea that – because, I, I mean, in Amsterdam is where it all started, right? And that's where it all started to be that sort of situation, too, where I'd be like, okay, so people are, like, smuggling weed now over here. Because at first it was, like, you know, grown there. Everybody was kind of competing, kind of kind of on a level playing field. And, and to be quite honest, if you bring weed anywhere, it's usually already knocked down two notches just because they had to get there. And it's fucking like, doesn't look as good as it could if it was cut off the vine and hand carried over real carefully after it's been dried properly. Right. But, but um, it just kind of fucked up the whole like reality of like, we're trying to do something sort of legal, guys. Keep it all within check. It's like, and the winner of the Nevada Cup is from Michigan. You're like, that doesn't make sense. Come on, guys. You know, like, ah. Like, does not compute. Cannot teleport the fucking yeah. shit there. You know what I mean? So, anyway, the. No, hey, it, 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 when things get to certain places, though, there's. It's over. A, well, know, that was the Amsterdam. level of effort in that itself. Hundred percent. No, and no, there should be a, there the should answer. there should be a cup just for that. Like in Amsterdam, they the had smugglers cup. Oh yeah, smugglers <laughs> cup, and it's like the worst one to win every time. You're like, oh, I can't believe oh, I win again and again. Go to jail. Right, and make again. Still in jail, but making things work is our buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <my man. laughs> but in general, the uh, yeah, I mean, what so. You, since you're in Alaska, and obviously, I mean, I'm not going to say you're isolated because I don't know what your situation is, but I mean, you are a little bit isolated. Um, how this is like you said, your first drop. You got your first round of seeds coming out. Um, are you gonna? Are you guys gonna do do the circuit? Like you said, you can do the high time circuit. Are you planning on coming to Colorado? Because Colorado, they don't even have a cup in Colorado, so you better. Yeah, ahead. that's that's a bummer, and I, I wonder why that is. Is that because they just keep canceling that? Because it's hard here because, it's, because it's hard here because they're really trying to follow fucking rules and stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Rules. <laughs> rules yeah, are for rules. fools, bro. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah. Obviously, we all agree on that, and we definitely don't want rules. But it is kind of weird for me as a guy who, like, first of all, I left America to go to Holland uh, as a guy who always broke rules, got to Holland and realized, oh, I didn't have to break all the rules. I could break some of the rules. <clears throat> And then still be happy. And then I got over here. <coughs> Sorry. I was so used to that. And then uh, when I got here, like, I watched everybody here just fall in line. Like, Colorado is so much more in line with 
legality than California. It's unbelievable. Like California is just stupid sometimes. People are just like, like really? You guys are selling pounds at the fucking show? Just yeah, pounds. It's <laughs> not a scale. <laughs> Nobody ca- no one cares. I'm like, isn't there anybody taking a photo? Like, it just if I just saw like five is. people do that, it's like somebody else was, but, but no one seemed to care. <laughs> Colorado, totally not like that. Like here, they told us we couldn't do something. Everybody didn't, didn't do it. I was like, Ugh. what happened? I know, and it's the same way here. Same way here. People are like, okay, I'll take your rules. I know. Like, like, what, what oh, happened? Come on, freedom fighters. Go. <laughs> I'm like, whatever happened to what happened to the? I mean, the whole reason we're here is because we none of us listened to the rules. I mean, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here. We'd right. be all you know. We would all quit. We would all quit like fucking years ago if somebody told us there was rules involved. We'd be like, okay, rules. All right, I don't know about that, but I'll just I'll go with the no rule. I'll go with the no rule sort of style one. <laughs> um, the. Uh, Speaking of rules, <laughs> no. Uh, the speaking of rules, did, did, have you you heard about the CBD bust in Alaska? Tell me about that now. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was. That, that would be that'd be something cool we could talk about. Let's do it. Let's hot, talk about it. Hot recent topic. Um, so here, I think two days ago, the uh, the marijuana control board enforcement division um, went to five of the dispensaries that we have in Alaska out of probably like. Oh, I don't know, seven or eight, um, which they're they're fighting it the whole way. But that's another story. Um, goes in and wipes out all their CBD selection. I saw it this morning. I saw somebody like just got cleaned out. I was like, whoa, whoa, and it's and it's a bummer. The marijuana control board is is uh, they I believe what they're doing is they're acting on the idea that these cannabinoids were not uh, produced in Alaska, and that's part of the thing. It's it's, it's if it's going to be sold in Alaska, it's got to come from Alaska. Even though well, there you go, you got an, you got an in, you got an in. Are you got? Do you have some CBD strains or what? Uh, no, I don't have any CBD strains do, rolling do you yet. Need so some, you need some? <laughs> you need yeah, some? Yeah, you know, right? right? Let's do uh, something, bro. Let's do it. Collaboration yeah, right now. Live, live yeah. collab. Um, I'm, no, I'd, I'd be. Well, I definitely have some. If you need some, put it that way. Um, okay. And it's crazy too because like CBD exactly. Today, a friend of mine called me who was on a show a few shows ago. My buddy Denny from Crucial Creations, and he's a he's a nutcase. He's like your classic, like he sees an opening, he goes for it, hundred percent, right? And you know, right. when the CBD game kicked in, I was like, oh man, people are gonna go fucking nut, like really? So if anything, you mean uh, I can do? Uh, all right, good. And they just go for it, you know what I mean? Like literally, to the point where there's people here growing any strain doesn't matter what it is, as long as they don't grow it long enough to get to the point where the THC gets above a certain ratio, they'll fucking... So these guys are growing him, harvesting him at like six weeks, five and a half, six weeks, getting just enough of whatever and passing the test, and they're growing like, you know, high, normally high THC strains, but just didn't give them enough time to produce it, you know? And it's like... Yep. Um, so, of course, I'm like, well, yeah, you could do that, but <laughs> I'm like thinking to myself, like... We can't all just take the piss, you know what I mean? We can't all just be like, fuck it, yeah, they said we should do it like this. But, I mean, that's kind of the, that is the game right now. If they're going to tell us we can do something, but they fuck up and forget to tell you you can do one thing and you exploit the hell out of it, in my opinion, you know what I mean? But it's, well, any, any anytime there's an open window, I think that people should be able to get in and out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, and they do, just, and they do. Work, work, the, work the loopholes, work the hell out of them until they change them. But you know, yeah, so that's 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 progression. I mean, I've I've seen some operations, and I don't even know how big they get down there. I've I've been following a, a friend of mine who's doing a, like an eight, eight acre crop, CBD crop with underground irrigation. It's like, dang, dude, this is great. This is, is this it, is awesome it, to see this going down in the United States. I know, isn't it nice to see? Um, it's literally like well it's funny too though because as the as we they come to us and we see them it's like we're, we're kind of numbed a little bit a little bit you know like jaded slightly jaded slightly numbed because it was like there was less than 10 years ago where we were saying imagine if and now it's already happening and right. as it happens it's almost like eh, whatever yeah like a thousand acres yeah you know, whatever <laughs> yeah. so it was like it's just like and it's like, no, dude, we were dreaming about this shit years ago, like, especially like yeah. when I first got to Colorado and I drove along and I saw like cornfields and I was like, 
give it a couple, you know, five years from now, it'll be it'll be hemp. You know what I mean? Just like row after row after row after row after row after row after row, and it's happening. And it's not like I can't even drive five hours south to go check it out because it's fucking too much work. I'm like fuck that, you know? What I mean? like, uh, yeah, you know that dream I had that I wish I could have done. It? Now it's there, and I just can't get to it because it's like too much work to like go down there. Like, well, whatever. But I've been. Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's too far, bro. I was like, I'll go. I'll check it out later. But no, it is. It is like, and it's gonna happen in lightning speed. Are you, are you interested in the whole hemp side of it all too, or are you just scared because I, I, I'm, I'm interested in, in every every part of it I just cannabis plant is my life basically. yeah yeah no, no I mean me too I mean I'm, I'm totally down with like obviously right. with hemp weed cannabis all this shit but what's funny is like out here again same thing we talked about it and now it's all happening like my friend showed me some weed he grew and he lived in the southern Colorado and he was like and I was like what is it? He's like, oh, it's Poodle's Nuts. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, it's like, that's cool. I'm surprised because he's like in his mid 60s and he had like, I was like, damn, you like got some good elite shit, right? Smoked it, tastes pretty good. All of a sudden, boom, hit a seed, you know? And I'm like, oh, you got some seeds in here. And he's like, oh, yeah, hemp growers up the road, you know? And I'm like, oh, it's happening, bro. It's like the, the, the fucking nightmare of hell is happening. Yeah, it's like, a nightmare, like, oh, <laughs> like, don't worry about growing because nobody's going to have males that they keep. No, that, oh, it's now over. It's, yeah. Yeah, now it's eight, the air. It, you know, fucking pollen clouds the size of like Rhode Island flying around. You know, just fucking everybody shit up. <laughs> and th- and that was the thing. It was like it was like I talked about it years ago, and I thought yeah, that would suck. But I never like met or smoked anything before that did it. And then all of a sudden, I did it, and I was just like thinking about the seeds that were in there. Like imagine when somebody grows those. Like yeah, I got these fucking poodle nuts, bro. And it's like poodle nuts hemp, dude. You got like poodle hemp. Nuts. <laughs> Great. Hey, that, that, Great. Could, that could that could be the hot topic, dude. Well, High CBD could be the next, the next well, it, two to one ratio. I mean, it could be in the sense of the <laughs> fact that it's it could be in the sense of the fact that it's like super high quality hemp. Or super right. low, low quality weed, like one of the two. You know, you didn't you pick you know pick whatever side of the fence you want to be on. But I'd rather be on the high quality hemp, but then you'd also be on the hot side on the hot seat there because they'd be like. This shit's actually spiking way high. It's like two percent, dude. You're killing a game. You're like, oh my god. Like I was just trying to like I was trying to hit thirty. Now I'm trying to keep it below point oh three. You know what I mean? The, for the, so it's it is it is a pain in the ass, and that's one of the. I feel sorry for hemp growers in the sense of like knowing that, that this plant is not the easiest plant to fucking keep from spiking more than point. Zero three percent, you know what I mean? Like fuck, no matter what it is, it doesn't really want to, you know. Right. Yeah, it's just just genetic drift over time. I mean it's, Sure. But just think of think of the advancements in, in uh in the cannabis plant just since you started coming into the game till now. I mean sure. you know, as far as as far as breeding and, and overall quality improvements, it's like, whoa, this is this is great. What a what a what a progression and and what a crazy responsive plant that we can work with that shows us such dramatic results in such little time. It's like, whoa. You know, and and, and reacts in, in different ways depending on whatever you induce to it. You know, it's like yeah. the, the extremes, you know, to be able to grow outdoors up here in Alaska yeah, no, for or, sure. Did you uh, did you have any? Um, yeah, because anything that grows outdoors there must be fucking tough as balls, and or uh, either auto flower slash uh, seven eight weeks max. Really, is that is that kind of your window? Or yeah, uh, you... it's it's it pretty much you just got to do it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's light like that like that pie tunnel heated. Yep. That's 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 how that goes. I mean, you know, with when you have, but and the and the light the light schedule up here is like twenty one hours of, of light. Yes, yeah, so, I mean that's so you awesome. You can just light dip all day long and just fucking crush it for those. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. So so in a way, it's kind of yeah. like revert. As long as you uh, approach it properly, you're, you got yourself. And that's the thing is you just got to invest in lights. A little no no <laughs> lights at all. You just need to invest in fucking light sh- cloth. Basically. Well, you know, <laughs> maybe. Maybe well, maybe there, like, in three weeks in August or whatever. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, exactly. Don't get any sun because you know you do live in Alaska and then it, you know, decides that the sun's not going to come out and it's going to rain for three weeks straight. Kind of fucks you. Right. I know that's what happened to some of the other legal growers here. Um, they 
they had to harvest in like five or six weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and but crazy thing is the yeah the, the market gobbled it up still because they were one of the only people with licenses. They're they're really slow on the license approval process here in Alaska. So. Yeah, I was there actually. The uh, that last show was the day you guys were like. Ooh, it's you know it's happening. So it was like, but of course, it still hasn't happened, right? That's, that was months ago. That was right. literally a, a crop ago, at least a crop and a half, almost. But right. uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm sure you guys have some obstructions there just because of the. Uh, I mean, it's such a drinking culture there too, right? I mean, they just love, Man, I mean, I alcohol. It, I love it. Yeah. I mean, they have. They have uh, that, that's one of the things when I first landed there it was like the first thing I kind of noticed I was like all right it's like like 11:30 in the morning everyone's hammered already <laughs> like get off the, then I like drive down the, into the town a little bit and I'm like bars are kind of I wouldn't say hopping but I mean definitely people are out to drink and my friend r- was working in a bar um, d- uh, and like a, a friend of mine from back in Rhode Island she was working at a place called Darwin's you ever heard of Darwin's uh, yeah, I think it's an Anchorage, isn't it? Yeah, it's an Anchorage. If you go to yeah. Darwin's, my friend Jennifer works there. You can go say hi. <laughs> say, what up? Adam said, come by. She'll take care of you. But anyway, she's like, I went by there, and it was, like, funny because she worked. She's been there for a while, and uh, she's from Rhode Island originally. And, like, I got to really kind of see the the local little small bar culture of there. And I was just like, yeah, this is – you could just see, like, it was, like, you know – typical day at 11 30 12 in the afternoon and everyone's already fucking didn't matter it's like never gets dark <laughs> just drink you know what i mean it's like either either it's, yeah. always, it's either always dark or it never gets dark and there's like that whole yeah it, it gets worse in the winter and then yeah alcohol is a big problem here i, I mean that's that that must be the biggest problem for ptsd that, is that they're using alcohol instead of cannabis to sort of self-medicate and that's like a terrible idea as I, know. yeah i had to find that out the hard way that was uh that was a learning experience for sure yeah alcohol ptsd are not friends yeah because i mean you can imagine if you can imagine well and then you combine it with pharmaceuticals and then it's like you know that cause uh, possibly might cause suicidal thoughts (laughs) you're like well it it, it does dude i I had to you're like i had to go to a freaking va hospital for five days man you're like that's freaking and it's and and it's nuts because it's stuff where you're just like you know, you think people are out there to protect you in some way, shape, or form, but then you're like, all right, if that is the case, then no, that's actually not. I think they're not <laughs> trying to protect anybody, right? They're just trying to make a buck. And then if you look at the combination of the of the results of those uh, suicidal thoughts equaling more suicides, and, of course, when you got uh, uh, veterans and stuff and combined, it's like it's not just PTSD because – somebody left you in a car when you were a kid or you know th- which is bad too it's like crazy shit that most people can't fucking deal with you know what i mean they would never be able to deal with right. and then you're trying to like unfathomable sadness <laughs> exactly so it's not like just i mean and, and and you can't really put a number on anybody's sadness or anybody's situations because it's all bad but right especially when it comes to war stuff it's like one percent of the people in the country actually go to war and then out of those only like a few percentage of them actually see war you know what i mean so it's a very small percentage right. and it's kind of like you know so there's a shitload of people going into the service but there's only a small percentage of people that might be affected as bad as they are and, if, and then they just get easily like you know whatever like pushed under and it's like no that's actually the only they're like the they're what you think of when you think of it but you, it's not most of them are just Hanging like just like my dad. My dad was like the opposite. He like protected planes on a navy on an air force base in England during the Vietnam War. You know what I mean? So, but right. on his tombstone it says Vietnam, and all my friends are like, "Dude, your dad Vietnam." I was like, you know, not to belittle it, but like he protected planes in England and got <laughs> drunk and got tattoos. He didn't have nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? But there was guys right. who got fucking serious shit, and you know, and especially now modern, like way more than. Because before it was all Vietnam or World War Two, and then we didn't have nothing in between. And right. out, how old are you, by the way? Just want to throw that out. <laughs> About <how old? laughs> thirty. Thirty. Okay. So, right. like when I was a kid, you know, there was like this moment in time where we hadn't been in actually any kind of war combat thing, and it was like, 
oh yeah, that'd be kind of a good idea. I should go into that because that's safe. You know what I mean? <laughs> not, not knowing that we were about to go into like endless thirty year war, fifty or however long we're going to keep going with it. But I mean, if you're thirty, then you're definitely in the age group of never. You've seen America at war since you were able to figure it out. You know what I mean? But yeah, but it was all bullshit. You know what I mean? As far as like it was never like because in the beginning, like in nineteen. 19- 90 89 90 when the gulf war started it was like we were like putting that shit out like it was fucking regular tv like yeah today yeah. look oh well, yeah that was awesome bro we blew yeah. that up. it was like and then all of a sudden they stopped totally like now we don't see nothing like now you wouldn't even know we were at war You're like right. they just blip it one second you know so that makes it like weird because well like, it's not it's not something to be proud of i don't think no, no, but it's you know, also weird because it's said, also like you don't want to like you, to... you don't want to not talk about it because if you don't talk about it, then it's weird. But you also don't want to talk about it because right. you talk about it. Seems like you're hiding something. something. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's 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 a weird cross of it. It's like it, it almost feels like what, why isn't this over yet? I mean, it's been it's been 16 years, right? Well, Two and a half years, man. We're, we're still at it. Yeah, I think like, that I think the reality is that. Um, you know, y'all figure out that it's like, oh, there's a lot of money behind everything. There's a lot of like, you know, just keeping things status quo because that actually makes everybody get paid compared to like, uh, you know, oh, wow, we, we stop this, which we could have probably five times over. Then you know, we're out of all this work and all this bullshit. And that's crazy. That's crazy because at the end of the day, we could have made just as many jobs in way better fields that make more, you know, better for the future than than if we were to uh just fucking create a war machine which is like america has weirdly become because when i left america in 89 i kind of felt like we were the good guys and we didn't really like do that stuff and all of a sudden i like i got like i realized really quickly when i moved to europe and i started i got a pair i got you ever seen these uh dictator playing cards they have you ever seen those no yeah, they're awesome. They're basically every dictator that's been out there, and it tells like the kill stats on the back, and like it's kind of like a playing card. It's like, oh, he killed fucking three million people. Nah, that guy's a pussy. You know nothing. <laughs> and they went, you know, and they had like the uh, the old edition with like Genghis Khan and people like that. But then they also just went to the modern edition. You know, obviously Hitler and all these people, and it was just like crazy because it was like right around the Iran Contra scandal shit, which was like the kind of the opening of the doors of like what we're smuggling all the drugs oh wait a minute we've been doing it the whole time you know it's like it's like we're just fu- like we're fucked as a country it's crazy like <laughs> we've done so many stupid fucking things but on another rant so don't yeah, right. <laughs> so uh so tell me more with your like your okay your latest drop's gonna be what are you gonna be popping off again one more time for the guys out there who are well we, we got we got the we got the the drop coming to Valentine's Day drop at uh c tier noon and then uh you know we're going to be touring with the cannabis cup so we'll be in san bernardino and michigan and oh what's that other one uh santa cruz mm-hmm. i think or santa rosa norcal norcal's in june or the yeah. norcal the mm-hmm. portland and I think we're going to go over it's to Rhode Island. Rhode Island, oh. yeah. I was going to say a Rhode Island one, too. Cause that should be the, interesting. Yeah, east. Cool. Going back east would be kind of fun, so. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds well, like. It's great talking with you, man. It sounds like we're going to be crossing paths, obviously, along the way. Because uh, I will definitely I do the Rhode Island well. gig because uh, I grew up there a little bit. And so, it's, for me, it was, like, weird. It's just like you're saying, going home, and you're like, this is so weird, dude. Like, <laughs> it's like everything. Because when I was growing up in Rhode Island, I thought I was the only guy smoking weed. I was like, that's it. It's me. It's me and me. It's me and my friends and no one else. Like, there was like, it was just vibe. All of a sudden, I realized every fucking guy smokes weed there. So it's crazy. Right. It is crazy. But, uh, yeah, no, it's definitely good talking to you. And uh, so we'll keep an eye out for the drops on, on the Valentine's Day, which is cool. Then after that, you guys got like a kind of a sort of game plan for the next year? Or are you just playing by ear right now? It's uh yeah, uh, pretty much just continue touring. We'll probably go to the Emerald Cup. And, you got to do that. Uh, maybe we'll start jumping on some can of cons. And couple, it's just, uh, a couple of these, you know, a couple of those, a couple of cons. Yeah, grow and expand, <laughs> grow and expand. Adapt yeah. and overcome. Spanibus, and, Europe, what about that? Spanibus, you know, maybe. I, I, I have know, good, maybe. okay, listen, you want to go to Europe, give me a call. 
I got I got good All people. Right. Actually, I, I will. I will. As a yeah. matter of fact, that sounds like a great idea. My, my new I, my new I sponsor my my newest sponsor, here. which hasn't come on board yet, but he's about to, is uh, opening up a uh, a club there, and he just wants to get every American rolling through because he knows you know. He knows we spend the money. We're like we're like Rodney Dangerfield going into like a dispensary or a coffee shop or a fucking club. We're like, give me two of these and one of those and three of these and five of these and six of those <laughs> compared to everybody else's. Like, I'll take a half of one of those. You know, you're like, oh my that was god, the best movie ever, man. You know, what so, do you have on special? What's that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Special, <laughs> cheapy, 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 cheapy. Like, no, no. <laughs> you're like, no, no, no. I like the other guys. I like those. I like the danger fields personally. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, like I definitely said, we'll we'll link up at the next show, hopefully, uh, with James somewhere along the line. Are you going to be at Canacon at this coming up one? Because I'll be there. I I don't I don't think we're going to be. Looking at, I don't know. Why don't, you just, look look Why don't you just come down? Why don't you just come down? You should just come down. Yeah, and, maybe I'll just come down you should come down that. and then hang out at the booth with James because if you got already a drop going down now, then you'll already be sold out and you'll want to bring you some more. And uh, on top of that, we can get the fucking do the show because I'll do the show at Canacon too, so we can go live on the show together. How's that? How's that cool. for an idea? So, so, sounds sounds awesome. Live appearance. What yeah. what? When's the date? Next month or end of this month, right? Isn't it the uh, next week? Shit, it's like next week, bro. Next next week. It's like next week. It is. It's next well, week. Come on down. Come on down come, next week. Come on down. All right. All right. Go all look right, into it. Good. I think it's next uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you can do next it. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I, I think right. James has to get me a room so we can we we can bunk up. There you go. What yeah. up? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> we'll be bunk okay. brothers, bro. What up? All right. We'll be bunk donkey right. seeds, TH seeds bunk combo. <laughs> <laughs> what strains nice, were you uh, dropping? All right, What's, brother, man. Before, well, uh, before you take off, what's, what strains were you dropping on this next drop? What, re, re, he, wasn't, he, got, wasn't listening, uh, he wasn't listening to the show, by the way. I, uh, <laughs> I got the, the Blood Diamond. Okay. Got Mountain Goat. I've got, uh, which is the Golden Goat by the Cherry Mountain. Okay. And then uh, and I got Sled Dog, which is White Dog by Cherry Mountain. Um, nice. Let's see, what's the other one? Lift Ticket. Oh, I like and, that. And uh, yeah, mm. Lift Ticket, that's, uh, that's uh, my Gretzky Pino of uh, Golden Ticket by uh, the Cherry Mountain, of course. They all have the same mail. And then yeah. one more. Oh, it's the, uh, it's my. First place winning Happy Thunderfuck Mail by the Cherry Mountain. And it's called Thunderfuck Mail. Those oh, are super cool. limited. I think there's like three or four hundred seats. I like how nice. Thunderfuck is just a normal thing now. It's not even like cool. It's not, well, even, like, it's know, not even shocking. I, there's no I, shock value I, left. It's like Thunderfuck Grandma. You just call it whatever you want. It doesn't even matter. Thunderfuck <laughs> Mountain. Yeah. Well, I knew when I named it, it was like I've, I've grown up my whole life with this strain in my, in my background. So it's like if, if I have an opportunity to use fuck, and if I don't put fuck somewhere in the name, I, I'm just a pussy. He fails. He fails. <laughs> totally. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. Would, I agree. I agree. I agree. Respecting the strain. Well, I agree 100 percent, Brandon. Don't if you can use if you have a chance to use fuck in a word of a product, you're gonna do it. Until, you, until they say you can't do it. Can. Until they'd be like, you can't do it, Brandon. You're like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, that's great. It's been great talking to you. I'm going to wrap it up anyway because I think we're at our close to th- – we're close enough. I can just sort of wrap it up. We're close Again, enough. We're close, close enough. enough. For sure. And, if well, if, yeah, uh, yeah, and like I said, we're well. going to get you on the show soon. But if there's you have a website you want to hype up right now? or You know, um, in development. Right oh, I love those. Every single one of our guests, we have the most in Every development crew ever. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know the site? It's being built by like a hundred of the best builders ever. They're the best. I have the They're best. The best. We, I have the, the best, best builders. The They're things. the greatest builders ever. Yeah, it's pretty much like it's gonna, that. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be tremendous. It's going to be tremendous. It's going to be, tremendous. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the best builders. Right. Yeah. Okay, so your site is not up, basically. The but is not but up. your name, but, but did you did you did you secure the name? Did you secure the name? Swamp What's Donkey. Did you, do, you, do you have the name SwampDonkey.com? Or does somebody else already have it? Because if, you, if no, somebody else has had it. that, somebody else has it? It's over. What? It's over. <laughs> might, as well, might as well just walk oh. away. 
Oh, that's it. Forget about it, bro. That's it. Uh, burn, crash and burn, bro. Just okay. Turn the show off and the like, burn because this <laughs> show's <laughs> over. No, you didn't get the name Swamp Donkey. Somebody else has that. That's I'm just, I'm just shocked. I think everything has been taken, man. Oh man. Some, like wait a minute, Swamp all, and Donkey's taken. Like fuck. Wow. It's like something you make up at the place, just hoping that like something's gonna work. You know what I mean? Like, bro, well, like, I mean that's just how that's just how it goes. I mean, eventually there's gonna be no more. It's just like movie titles and names, and you know they're just it's limited. Yeah, you can only come up with so much originality before you're starting to make up new words. Yeah, you know, well you have to. That 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 that's American right there. We just made up new words. We well, make yeah. up new words. Well, like, we make up yeah, new words every day. Like, like ah, make up a new word. Can't come up with something. Well, I'm sad. I'm sad. You don't have. So what is your website? You don't know what's you have. You have something you can tell us that's gonna come up, or is it just secret? You should be. Uh, well, you, you can go check us out on IG. Oh, Instagram, right. Swamp Donkey Seeds and Instagram. Okay. We've got an email nice, there. You can say hi or you can come check out some pictures. And nice. I'm a, I'm Alaskan grower on Instagram. That's kind of my little factor of it. But Swamp Donkey Seeds, it's there. Instagram, right, cool, check cool. it out. Cool. Well, at least at least you got some domain covered right now. But go get yeah. that name. Find out who's got that name and offer them like something. Be like, dude, who the fuck is buying Swamp Donkey shit off of you? Nobody. You got Swamp Donkey clothes. You got Swamp Donkey whatever. What do you got? Kitchenware? Swamp Donkey. Kitchenware. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, I make kitchenware. I make kitchenware, Swamp Donkey. You're like, no. Yeah, I, got, I got Swamp Donkey kitchenware. <laughs> yeah, I'm number one. Number one. Number one Swamp Donkey. Number one, number one Swamp Donkey. <laughs> number one Swamp Donkey. Buy now. Exactly. <laughs> well, there you go. That was your advertisement. So I will we'll sample oh, that Jesus. right there. No. We're going to sample that. We'll sample that. And we're going to use yeah. that. And it's going to be awesome. You're going to see. It's going right. to be on loop like a racist Trump ad. It's literally going to be the person that. you want to buy seeds from. And I'm going to I'm going to find your photo <laughs> and I'm going to Photoshop it onto Trump and it's going to say Swamp Donkey buy now, buy now, buy now. Real racist buy now, stuff. Buy now. Yeah, real racist and yeah, it'll be terrible. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> definitely. It's perfect. It's great. Deal <laughs> the deal. But yeah, seeds seeds here now. Seeds thanks, here now. Thanks, thanks, seeds James, here for now. Helping me get on the show and of course. Have, well, again, and so we can talk and Definitely go check that out. Not just me on there. I believe you're on there too, right? I am and on there. I am on there. Like 33 other breeders. Exactly, dude. Like you can do math and everything, bro. I feel <laughs> way more, way more com- well, I'm, I'm confident of, in your strains now that I know you can off, you can subtract. So I'm feeling better. Got my toes. I'm like this guy so. has got his shit together. This is a breeder, true breeder, yeah. right here. You can subtract. True breeder. And add, I believe. If, if we, I haven't tested you, but I'm. I'm just going with it. If, uh, well, if I, if I got a calculator, I can multiply too. Fuck. Kid's on fire. Oh, yep. This guy's on fire. Dangerous. He's 30 going on fucking 100, bro. It's just like his, his, <laughs> yep. the wisdom. Is, All out. The wisdom is That's just Alaska unbelievable. Boy. That's Alaska. You get, you get grizzly yeah. up there, literally. Grizzled. Grizzled. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're fighting them off every day, man. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for chatting like, with us. It's hard to get them out of the igloo, though, because the snow and yeah. they just come right through. Well, my, my other friend, Jeff, from uh, M, some other seed company, MTG, MT somebody. I don't know. Wait, wait, he was telling us about shooting the fucking bear in his living room in his underwear. Like, he's in his underwear. There's a bear in the fucking living room. And he, he shot it, and it fell through the front door and went into his place and not out of his place. Like, it didn't, like, didn't fall out. It fell in. So he's like, fuck. And now he's got wow. this dead bear in his house. And it, was kind of, it was like Alaska stories. You know, you've heard the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a normal. Except, that sounds legit, except except uh, I would have been naked. So. Oh yeah, well there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds great. And on that note, we're going to end. Oh, that. No, no. We're going to end that. We're going to like leave that as an image, and yeah. everybody can make it up as they go along. <laughs> image of a uh, yeah, uh, Alaskan grower in, in this yeah, naked shooting bears in his living room. Well, shooting bears <laughs> off the porch. Just normal. Nor- another day. Beer, it's, okay. it's another yeah. day. We will continue this for sure. Well, right, uh, awesome talking to you, and uh, let's you know keep, keep listening to the show. Hopefully, and we'll link up when I see you at the next one with the seeds here now. Wow! Bye now! Wow! 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 wow, 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 wow. wow. All right. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Take care. All right, peace. All right, peace. All right, that was fun. Good. I kind of gave three hours. I, kinda, I maybe a little shy. Maybe Did we not. do three? Close. We're, uh, we're over just two. a tiny bit shy. I didn't even get to get my shout-outs. Like twenty minutes shy, <laughs> or more. <laughs>
Whatever. You gave me a chance. No, it was 20. Like, no. Because we started at 320. Oh, yeah, 320. Yeah, it's like 315, 320, something. Whatever, around. dude. I got people here waiting for me upstairs. They want to rent space. They gave me lots of money. Not just wasting my time talking Fantastic. on this fucking hey, show, shout, bro. I'm going to do my no. shout out to the farm right you're now. You're not allowed to do no more. No, you're done. No, you of course. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Shout out to the farm for the Gorilla Bubble. Gorilla Glue Time Sour Bubble Bomb. Um, and a strawberry blonde, which is a super lemon haze time strawberry, sour strawberry. Go mm. check those guys out. Phenomenal. Good breeding program for Colorado. For anywhere, I really. So that's awesome. my shout out. All right. Well, big shout out to uh, Mark over there for make, making this shit happen. Sorry for the, the gaffle in the middle. Did we gaffle? Well, we had to start over another stream. Oh, but that just I think s- Skype kind of crashed something or something. Yeah, like it's that. either Skype or Seeds Here Now. Seeds Here Now. And that uh, site, for some reason, before was uh, crashing us. I don't know if we played that first or last first. I thought we played it first, so it shouldn't have been the one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think, we'll they, I think they fixed that. They okay. probably did. They're good at that. Um, and I want a sh- big big shout-out to uh, CC and my little baby, Nick. There's no baby anymore. He's now five almost, so he's going be nice. way beyond. He's like telling me what to do. <laughs> Just g- give me the phone now. I'm like, oh. What? <laughs> I can't believe this coming in commanded by a five year old. That happened so. Uh big shout out to Ace down at the farm, uh and Andy making the shit happen and the boys who are listening to Andy and learning every day. It's a nice it's a nice thing. Uh shout out to all the sponsors out there making the show fucking TikTok and to all the ones on the fence you know, that are listening to the show secretly, you guys just just go just Come to Papa. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. We'll make you we'll make you rich. I appreciate that. <laughs> Beyond your wildest yeah. dreams. Uh shout out to who else? I don't know. Big dummy. I'm going out to I'm going out to Vegas tonight. Oh. It's super late. Got me on the fucking I know you got me on the early, semi early. No, eight o'clock in the morning, not too bad. Vegas for a day. Gonna go check out Big Dummy, my buddy. Everyone knows who that is. If you don't know who that is, then you don't well, so whatever, don't worry. He's big. <laughs> He's dumb, big and dumb. <laughs> I describe people real carefully. I make sure that the details are there. Uh, shout out to all the people listening to the show. Who uh, I'm gonna get you guys. Uh, I'm sound, I feel like I'm like struggling with this, but I'm trying to get this fucking copy of this one from the Emerald Cup, which is actually a really good one. It's gonna, uh, and I'm pissed because, like I said, I got Rob Clark to agree. That he ruined skunk for the world, and I want to get this fucking thing, <laughs> so everyone can like just loop it and make memes of it, and it'll be great. It's gonna be awesome. The chat room was saying that they would like to have uh, more uh, strain stories. I know they love strain stories. They love those. I know those guys. Yeah. All right, well we'll get more strain stories. Oh, actually, I got the cherry pie guy. I got the I got the guy who is like the sort of disenfranchised grower who always gets screwed over type deal. Where I'm the guy. So my friend uh, Josh, who's Claiming to be the cherry pie, the real deal, the original original, which would be good to, and he has eleven or twelve seeds left or something like that, and he gave them to the Phylos guys to put them into the galaxy, and he was waiting to see the, where it ended up in the galaxy to make sure that he was feeling secure in his mind or whatever. I don't know what it is, but anyway, we'll get him one day soon. He's 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 definitely on the on the on the horizon. And if anybody's got any requests on wh- what strains they want, I'll see about it. I mean, it's half, half the battle is finding out, we'll, you know. What about um, Skittles? You guys done that? Yet? We could do Skittles. I, I could definitely, I mean, uh, I could definitely get those guys because that's not, that, that's very recent history, which is good because it's For like, sure. I mean, Skittles right. is like, oh, yeah, there should be no question here. Um, compared to like once you get past a certain age, it's like, oh, no, now we're getting, and it's not that long. It's like 20 years ago, and all of a sudden everybody's like, fuck, dude, it was so long ago. It's, like, it's <laughs> not that long ago. Just come on, come on, come on, figure it out. And then one minute. <laughs> 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 and uh, here, you can see, even though you just said eight were nine words, we yeah, might as well nine. shout your own company out. Fuck it. Pure you're green here. out of Portland, yeah, Oregon. Yeah, woo, there you go. in the mm. house. <laughs> Family run. <laughs> anyway, these guys are meeting up. Figure it's perfect place. You already got half the spiel. You already know exactly. He doesn't even have to waste his time. He's gonna <laughs> going to go home tonight. Like, Let's go get drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go get drunk. And We're going to Shotgun happen. Willie's, and then he's getting on a plane. Yep. We're nice. out of here. There you go. Well, perfect. That's a typical typical uh, weed meeting. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to all the listeners, and we'll see you guys next week.
Thanks. Peace. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Sorry, it is nerve-wracking a little bit. Like, I mean, I'm, you're used to it. Yeah. <laughs> I totally came in blind. Up.